How do we go? Well, the postman's been. I'll plug it when the postman comes. Uh, and I've, I've bought myself a pack of these. It's called Umai Chakuturi Artisan Meat Kit. And basically, what this Umai company make are clear plastic bags for curing and drying meats, big pieces of meat. And I've used them before. I've used, uh, they also do sausage casings out of this, this material, this plastic. And they, they turn out, my salamis turn out really nice. I have, I have no complaints with them and I actually make a lot of salami so I've used a lot of these kits for the sausage casings before <coughs> so I thought I'll try with a big piece of meat and I'm going to make a brassola uh, with the instructions and the bags you also get some recipes a recipe list and it says for brassola I need a kilogram of beef and then it says I of round. Now in the UK we don't actually have that cut, but I believe it's something to do with the top side or silver side. So I've got a kilogram of silver side and I asked the butcher at the supermarket if he could make it uh, trim all the fat off and make it lean. So I've got a kilogram of lean silver side. It then says 30 grams or 3% of the meat's weight in kosher salt. Now I've had to look online, kosher salt is what the Americans just basically call salt, uh, except it can't have any caking agents in or anything like that, so it's just natural salt. I'm using Mediterranean sea salt, but that's all it is, kosher salt. Uh, sugar, 23 grams, and then it says Instacure number 2. And that should be 0.25% of the meat's weight, which comes to 2.5 grams or half a teaspoon. Now, Instacure, it's also known as pink salt for obvious reasons. I don't think you can see in the light there, pink salt. Or I think it's also called Czech powder. And basically, this is just rich in, I think it's either nitrites or nitrates, one or the other maybe both and this will help with the curing and preserving of the meat however if you use this you've got to be very very careful when it says 0.25 percent don't misread it and think it means 2.5 percent or 25 percent because too much of this uh, could be fatal so it's not to be played with uh, that's why it's coloured pink on purpose it's actually white because it's a salt but they deliberately dye it pink to make it stand out and you're not going to confuse this with table salt because if you used to use this like table salt you'll be very poorly if not dead so we're just going to be using half a teaspoon for a whole kilogram of beef and that'll be enough then the spices uh, black pepper, a teaspoon, a teaspoon each it says of rosemary and thyme. Now I've had a look on the shelf and I don't have that. We'll have to get some more in stock. Uh, but what I do have is mixed herbs. So I'm going to throw in two teaspoons of mixed herbs and then juniper berries, four, which of course you've got to crush and grind and make into uh, a, a powder. And then you mix that all together, mix it in with the meat and uh, off you go. So let me show you how I'm going to put all this together. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is uh, take our beef and put it into all the spices and I've weighed them all out and oops, mix them all together and, and put them in this container. So it, be much easier I'm thinking to, to coat the beef in the spices and the salt uh, inside this container. So let me just take off all this cling film 
been nicely trimmed of all the fat and just simply press all these salts and herbs and spices rub them in into the into the meat really try and cover the whole piece of beef Well, wouldn't you know, as soon as you start filming, the postman comes. Anyway, we'll, we'll carry on. So, yep, just make sure all this beef is covered, especially with the salt. We weighed out the salt, 30 grams or 3% of the, the meat's weight, for a reason. You need that much salt to act as a cure. Any less, and all you're doing is just seasoning the meat. But as soon as it hits that 3% mark, the uh, the salt acts as a cure and of course we've got the insta cure as well so this looks like it's getting really nicely covered now so i am going on to the next step and so uh, the last step today is using this food saver vacuum packer vacuum sealer now it doesn't matter if you want to try this and you don't have one of these machines you can just use a large ziplock sandwich bag obviously big enough to uh, to hold the meat so that's all really that, that you need but they do say that this is a little bit of a better method so I'm going to take this nicely salted and spiced piece of beef and we're going to put all of the remaining bits of uh, salt and spice into here so that all the, the weights that we measured out, everything is measured correctly everything goes in and will help the meat to cure so I'll just do this, I don't know how easy it is because it's all got wet now but uh, it should be okay so we want to get all of that into the bag or as much as it as we possibly can, especially the salts, obviously, because uh, they were weighed out for a reason. So we'll put all that in here. There we go. Just wipe my hands, and then we can uh, seal the bag. Try and get everything down and rubbed in. One last pat. Okay, we should be ready now. Just wipe my hands. It's messy stuff. And uh, open this. Put the bag in. Like that. That's okay. Shut this. Lock it. High speed, it's going to be a wet seal, so I'm doing that. If you don't have a wet seal, you can just do two seals uh, as a dry seal. And I want to press that one. And there she goes. Or rather you can't see, let me move this back. So there it is, vacuum packed and uh, ready for the fridge. And as I mentioned, this will stay in the fridge for two weeks curing. And every day I'll just turn it over like this, give the meat a bit of a massage, get all those salts and herbs and spices into the meat to flavour it. And then in two weeks, I will come back and start the next step which is to use those special bags I was talking about when you transfer the meat into one of those bags and leave it for 10 day, uh, ten weeks sorry, uh, in the fridge or 8 weeks I think it said. So it's a long process but I'm sure it will be very 
worth it when it's finished. So I'll come back and I'll update you in two weeks. So see you in the next video.